I've been after it ever since I saw it. I never expected to be able to own it. I never thought that opportunity would come. This is the ultimate ride because you can take all your friends in it. What's better than that? You go fast, have the wind in your hair. The Crew Cut started off as a regular 92 Crew Cab Chevy Dually. I was 19 years old. I flew to California and saw it. And ever since then, it's just kind of been a dream vehicle. It was one of the very first, if not the first, what we call a body drop dually, where they cut out the floor and drop the body over the frame, which was back in 98, 99. I kind of kept track of it, its ownership over the years, and I figured out who owned it and everything else. The truck ended up on eBay, and I ended up making an offer, and about an hour, hour and a half later, I learned that they said okay. It's just funny sometimes how the world works and how sometimes it all plays out. The crew cut Dave owns now is a very different vehicle to the one he first saw. Whilst retaining its 90s looks, Crew Cut has been brought fully up to date with upgraded hydraulics, a powerful new engine, and an interior revamp. It may be more than 20 years old now, but for David, his ride is still way ahead of the game. Up front, it's got an Escalade front clip on it with a custom bumper that's been sectioned and kind of shortened so it doesn't dig into the ground. The paint job is a custom house of color green paint with flames done by Steve Van Diemen and restored with some of the guys from Gas Monkey. It's an iconic paint scheme. Even after 20 years, it's still in great shape. It has custom mirrors. These are actually off of Sea-Doo. And the rear doors are suicided where they open up the other direction. And here's where you can see how the floor has been raised. Everyone thinks it's been lengthened or extended, and it hasn't. The dually fenders have been raised up to accommodate the wheels. In the back here, all the tail lights have been shaved off. The tailgate's been welded shut, and it has Toyota Supra lights behind those grills. The windshield is actually all stock, just slid down into the wiper cowl a little bit. Underneath the hood, we've got the KTEC Performance, amazing LSX motor. 617 horsepower and you could be going down the road and punch it and it'll pin you back in the seat pretty good. A lot of people always ask how did it get that low, how do you make the car that low? What they don't realize is that it is an adjustable suspension so it can raise up and lower down. It's not meant to sit in the garage. In my opinion, these things are meant to be driven and it's meant to be seen, meant to have fun with it. And no matter where you drive this thing, people will stop, stare, take pictures, shake their head, all kinds of stuff. It's always an interesting drive with this. Right now, currently, I have seven vehicles here at home, and I have another seven being built across the country. And if it came down to it, I would sell every single one of them and keep this one. That's how much I love this truck. 